Well, the eyes of America will be tuned in for Super Bowl Sunday. As I said, there are more than 100 million people in the U.S. expected to watch the match uh, across the country. Increasingly, though, in recent years, the NFL have attempted to try and more globalize the, uh, the, the event, uh, to globalize the NFL as a whole. We've seen regular season matches in the likes of London and Mexico. That raises the prospect potentially in the future of China, perhaps one day hosting a regular season NFL match uh, at some point in the future. That's a question I put to Richard Young, who's the managing director of NFL China. And I started by asking him just how important the China market is for the NFL. Well, you know, it, it, it is the number two economy in the world. And um, I think it's important for every major company. Um, and it is no different for us. It is an important market. Uh, it is an area we see that we can slowly, with patience and long-term vision, uh, build a, a large fan growth with a great quality product. And we don't believe it's a cultural difference. We believe that great entertainment, when you invest your, your free time into something, you want to return. And we believe our product, our sport, gives a high quality, consistent return on your investment of free time. We've obviously seen in recent years with this new deal with Tencent, we've seen the viewing figures really boom in recent times. What have you made of that? How that must be really satisfying to see that interest there. It is. I think um, people need to remember that our games come in on Monday mornings, Tuesday mornings, and Friday mornings. And that's a weekday morning. And you're busy. You know, it's not a communal viewing experience. You're not inviting people over for beer and guacamole on a Tuesday morning. You're getting ready for work. You're going to work. You're at work. And so it is also, uh, you know, it's a very individual viewing experience. So 98% of our viewers watch games by themselves. They communicate uh, via social media. The key is, is that we have to get our product to our consumers in a way how they want to watch, where they want to watch, and when they want to watch. In terms of the Super Bowl itself, how important is, is this event in terms of trying to, to further maintain that growth? Yeah, it's, it's our crown jewel, um, and it's, it's a fantastic event. Um, we've been very lucky um, to have just great, great games, uh, over, certainly over the past 10 years. Um, and in and, and the the entertainment element and the, the, the razzmatazz, so to speak, around the event is is not lost on, on, on people and our fans in China. So it's, it is an event. It, it is very important, but it's just one event. And so more important is our regular season games, our 256 regular season games that we keep and build our fan base. They follow their teams with passion. They follow them through the playoffs. So. It's important in that way, but we recognize it's just one game um, that we, we don't base everything on the Super Bowl. Now, seemingly the NFL's biggest star, Tom Brady, uh, seemingly is a big fan of, of China. How does that help having the game's biggest star uh, focus on that China market? It, it helps. It's a tremendous help. Um, and we've had other players. We've had Russell Wilson. We've had legends such as Joe Montana and Jerry Rice and Tony Dorsett come out. That understanding of the China market and the power that it has and the ability to form a people-to-people -people relationship and to bridge over any kind of differences uh, and, and really connect with the people there. Uh, is not lost on them. Uh, I think it's many times very underrated how international, how thoughtful our players are. And it, it, it goes a long way. You see it when they come over to China. Uh, you definitely see it in Tom, definitely see it in Russell. And you see these other players that, that they come over and they realize what a great opportunity it is to connect with, with the Chinese people. In terms of China, what are we in terms of the potential of having yeah, more exhibition games and potentially a regular season game being played? Yeah, I think that's a, there's a big difference there in the, in the sense of we, our game is best played when, because of the physicality aspect of it, um, is best played when, in, when both sides uh, are 100%. And so we don't play exhibition games outside of the U.S. or preseason games outside of the U.S. anymore. And 
then we get into the issue of each team only has 16 games and only eight home games. So to play a regular season game over in China, you need to, to have one team give up one eighth of their home uh, season. That said, uh, the impact and the interest in, a, in, in the first ever uh, NFL game in China is significant on both sides. And we're hopeful that it will happen. There's a tremendous amount of logistics. It's a long way. It's a lot further than London. Uh, and so there's many things uh, on the logistical side to work out. When you only have 16 games, you need everything. Every game matters in the NFL. And that's the beauty of the model. But you have to make sure that when you play that game in China, that is exactly as it would be in the U.S. And so, you know, there's some logistics there, uh, as well as just figuring out the inventory that we have uh, to, to bring two teams over. So it's maybe not in the very near future, but never, never say never? Oh, absolutely never say never. Um, it's a lot of things to work out. We want to do it. When we do it, we want to do it right. We're going to do it. We're not going to just do a game to have said we did a game in China. It's got to be part of a longer term strategic initiative inside of China and kind of be um, the highlight or, or, or uh, the kickoff or uh, the crown jewel in, in, in that strategy. So it's, uh, I think you would easily say that it is a win, not an if but it's a lot of consideration needs to go into making sure that it's 100% right for the fans in China as well. We do not want to disappoint.